By default, when you shut down your computer, it goes into something called hybrid shutdown. What this does is instead of completely shutting your PC down, it logs you out of your accounts, saves data from your apps, and places your computer into hibernation. This allows it to boot into Windows faster when you turn it back on. You do this by moving your mouse to the lower right corner of the screen to bring up the charms bar. Then click on settings, select power, and then select shutdown. If you would rather avoid the hybrid shutdown and turn your computer off completely, there are a couple of ways you can go about it. The first is to use the same shutdown method I just showed you, but before clicking shutdown, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and keep holding it until the computer shuts off. You can also type power buttons from the start screen. Below the search field, click on settings, and in the list of results, you should see change what the power buttons do. Open it and it'll bring up a system settings window. Near the top of the window, click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And then scroll down to shut down settings at the bottom of the window. You should see turn on fast startup. Unchecking it will turn hybrid shutdown off entirely. And you can use the same normal shutdown method without holding down the shift key. Just click save changes to apply the setting. If you would rather not use any of those options, there is one more way. If you go to the desktop, you'll see that we put a power button on the taskbar. If you open it, you'll see a few different options you can use, one of them being shut down. Click that and it'll shut down the computer entirely. If you don't see the power button on your taskbar, just open the start screen and type power button. In the list of results, you should see Acer power button. Click on it to open it, or you can also right click on it and click pin to taskbar. When you go back to the desktop, you'll now find it on the taskbar. If you have any questions, please visit our website at support.acer.com.